Uh, my name's uh, Martin Pedal, and I farm uh, on this farm, Omar Heights, in the North Island. We a uh, coastal farm, rolling hill country, very hard farm, only Kaikuyu. I started here four years ago and the farm was very run down. My bosses live in the UK and I took photos and I sent them photos and I said, if you want me to continue managing this farm, we're gonna have to make some drastic changes. And the boss said, all right, he'll back me. And he said, well, I'll give you three years to give me a model farm. Unfortunately, a year ago, I had a quad bike accident, absolute freak accident where the quad bike actually flipped over me uh, head over, didn't roll, it came head over heels on me and um, bounced on me and broke my spine. So I'm what they call a T10 Asia A, complete. So I have no feeling from my belly button down. That was in May last year. After my accident, when I was still in the spinal unit, I did a trip to the Mystery Creek field days. And while I was there, I um, saw this unit with this fully automated pneumatic system. And I knew straight away that's what I would need. I approached ACC and I said, you know, being a paraplegic, please could you guys assist? And they did, they came to the party and they uh, helped fund this. And I haven't looked back. It's four years now that I've been here and it's almost a model farm. As you can see on the yards, they're absolutely perfect. Thanks to Tapari, Tapari and their crew that, that assemble these yards, their backup services, myself and one farmhand, we can run all 350 cows. We can run them through these yards. Uh, I TB tested three months ago. I had 322 cows through here with myself and one farmhand. The cows just come straight in, get the dogs in behind the cows, push them into the holding pens. We've got uh, one, two, three drafting pens in here. The gates are strategically placed, so if you are in the yard and you have to get behind the, the cows, there's a pedestrian gate that you can just walk down. Once you push them into the main holding yard, you just push them up into the force pen. That force pen, you can get behind that and push the animals from behind without getting yourself involved or getting yourself inside the, the pen. You're totally safe at all stages. Once the farmhand uh, gets them into the main race, he pushes them into the force pen. That's pretty much his job, just to keep feeding them in. Once they're in the race, um, all I do is on the fully automated system, I've got a remote here. If we are in the auto system, all I have to control is the race gate, which works really nicely. Let's one animal in. From there on, the animal comes in all on sensors, weighed, drafted. We have a tablet. The tablet is the T30. All my animals have a NATE tag, an electronic EID and a visual tag. I have the tablet on my lap. I just check that uh, the visuals come up, the EID is red, which will tell you it won't release the animal if that hasn't come up. And then it drafts it whichever way you want. The pneumatics on the scale and on the entry and the race gate and on the drafting gates, absolutely perfect. They open and close at the speed I want. There's absolutely no delay. When you push the button on the remote or on the console, with the um, Tapari system, you've got the animals can see through the railing, not like a solid wall or a rail in a timber yard. It keeps them a lot quieter, they're not fussed, they're not worried. I could push 300 animals through here in a morning. Once the animals have been through, get the pump out and the high pressure washer and just wash the yards off. Other than that, there's no maintenance, there's no rust a very little maintenance on, on the galvanized system. I would expect these yards to last me another at least 25, 30 years. What I like about Tapari is that they design the product, they manufacture the product, they produce the product onto your farm, they deliver it, they assemble the product for you, and finally, they give you that awesome backup support. You can phone them at any stage. I had a teething problem with this new system. You just phone them, they talk you through it, and away you go. 
definitely we've saved a lot in man hours. We work half the time here pushing our cows through. They just work, go through quietly and efficiently and we're out and we can do other jobs on the farm. The one big advantage of the Tapari yards, I think, um, is the safety aspect. And as you can see, I'm in a wheelchair and I can still work in the safety area here. So for other farmers out there that are thinking about changing yards or, or getting steel yards, I believe you can't go wrong. I would definitely recommend these yards to any farmer that wants to make an investment that's working cattle regularly and often. I would definitely recommend these yards. I mean, they're just so efficient. You just save a lot on, on, on man hours and obviously safety. Mm -hmm.